Hello, good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> welcome, 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 welcome. I'm happy you're here. And today we are going to trace in Silhouette Studio. Welcome. And um, if you are here, uh, let me know in the comment section. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section, talk to me. Uh, <clears throat> tell me where you're from. I'm coming to you from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And, oh, my chair, all the time. Yeah, I'm coming to you from Tulsa, Oklahoma, the hot state. It's super hot over here. Okay, but we keep cool. Mm -hmm. um, welcome. I'm going to fix my, um, how do you call this thing? My Facebook really quick. So I can see where I am and who is on here. Let me do it really quick. Mm, no, not here. Let me do it really quick. If you are here, let me know in the comment section. Oh, everything I'm touching. What's going on? Let me go here. Here. Mm -hmm. Let me know in the comment section where you're watching from and um where you're joining me from. And if you, if um, while I'm working, you have any questions, do not uh, hesitate to let me know, to ask, do not hesitate to ask. Okay, um, let me come back there. Yeah, I'm back here. Okay, we're going to trace an image today in Silhouette Studio. Let me say this. Um, if you have Silhouette Studio Business Edition, you will be able to trace it and save it as a PNG file or an SVG file. Um, yeah, and uh, if you if you want to learn um, the basics of Silhouette Studio, you can join my, um, you can sign up for my class. Uh, I think I have the link in the group. I'll put it in the comment section. You can sign up for my class where I teach the like the essential tools of um, Silhouette Studios. So that uh, when you want to do certain things, you will know exactly the way how to do it, etc. So if you're interested, um, please join and take the class. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you. Mm -hmm. The screen is right here. Yeah, right here. I did this before. I did it of, of like 30 minutes ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me turn this off. Yeah. Okay, I did it like 30 minutes ago, like I said. Uh, you see this Mario, Mary, Mario, Mario, bro, Mario Bros. He has, uh, the image has like a checkers board behind it. So uh, um, it's, it's not easy to work with. For instance, if you want to create something for your grandchild or for your son, your, uh, um, they are a fan of um, Mario and um, you want to put it on a shirt or on a cup or whatever. And, but you want this image. Let's say you want this image. Uh, you can't use it like this because all the checkers board and everything here will show. You don't want it like this. So you can trace it. Trace it and recolor it, and it will come out really, really nice, really nice. When you look, it looks like I have just um, taken this guy from here and took the background off and I had this. No, this is the tracing. I traced it. And that's what I'm going to show you today, how I did it. How I did all this, let me group it. In Silhouette Studio, right in here. It's not, it's not a difficult process. It's just a process where you have to do the thing step by step. You have to know how to navigate the software to be able to um, get the desired outcome. Okay, I'm using the trace panel. I, 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 if you do not know where the trace panel is, which one of them, you just go here to panels and you choose trace. Where's trace? Right here. And this will open. Let me close it and then I will choose. Panels, trace, bam, this is open. And um, when, you, when you're gonna trace this uh, image, 
you want the outline. You don't care too much about the color inside. You want the outline because when you get the, you know, see the black outline all over the image, like here, here, over on the hand, the black outline. That's what you want. You want it. You want the black outline, and you want it connected to each other so that it forms a a whole piece, a closed piece. Everything should be connected. All the lines should be connected, just like it is in the image. And um, Silhouette Studio. Uh, the darker the color is, the automatically the system will trace it, will fill it with yellow when you trace over it. Like so, we, we select this one, I'll select shape, I'll select this, and I'll come over here, you get a small uh, plus over here, and then you hold it. Let me get this thing out of here. Yeah, it's, uh, and then you select over the work. The whole image needs to be covered. Uh, we don't want this. Like I told you, we want the outline only. So um, I'm going to in decrease the threshold, like decrease it. Let me go closer with this thing. Not so close. Like zooming in. Yeah, the threshold. You see, if you take this, you will lose uh, um, the, the outline on the eye and on certain parts. So you need to uh, adjust it, like play with it, see where you can, where it's safe. Like I can say that, mm -hmm. like this is safe because now I see all the black outline of Mario, of the image, I see the black outline. The ears is separate, the hand is separate, the head, you see that, you see, all, you have all the black lines. So I think, I think we are safe here. I can jump with it here. Um, let me see. I think I'll take this. And then you select this one, trace right here. Mm -hmm. And then you get the red outline over it. You see, we traced it. I'm gonna put this aside for now. And now we have this and I select it and I'll color it like red, white. And still, you see only the outline is done. That is not really what we want. We want to be able to, to recolor it. You see how it is here? Let me take the line out. You see, this is what we have, but we want to be able to fill in all these open spaces so that we can fill it with color, with these colors. So I'm going to put the line again. The line was red. Okay, I, I will select and I will right click and release compound. And this is the compound release. That means you break it all apart. All the pieces that were, um, um, <clears throat> that were, uh, um, how can I say, hidden. When you break it apart, all of them come out. Okay, we release compound. And now we're going to select the parts that belong together. And then we're going to, you can group them or you can compound them. Um, <clears throat> I think I will use the compound tool. So I will start with the overall, like one foot here. I will select this, I hold shift. Select here and I'll right click and I'll make them compound. Um, I'll go in here. I want the same color, this same color, okay? So I'll keep the, the, the part that I compounded, I'll keep it selected and I'll go here and I'll take the dropper and I'll go here and I'll drop it. You see, and I'll take, uh, copy the color, you can say. I'll select this one, select this part too. I'll go closer and these tiny parts need to be selected too. I hold shift, select here, all the small parts of the overall and the big part here. And I'll right click, I'll compound it again. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to go and color, color it. Okay, I'll, I'll go for the arm for the shirt, 
select here, select here and here. All of the three, I compound them, make them compound. Go here and get my dropper and get the shirt. Okay. Hi, Nadine, how are you doing? How are you doing? I hope you're doing great today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have that. Um, I'll go to the head, select the head, hold, hold shift, select the front part here and the tiny part here. I'll right click, make compound. On, we'll make it red also, we have the red here already. Okay, go to the hand, the glove, all the three parts, and I think this part also here. Okay, it's one part. I'll right click and I'll compound them. Like I said, you can also, it's white, okay, it stays white. You can also group it, but I like the compound part, so I, I use it. This one to a hold shift, I'll pick this one up and pick the other hand up. I'll right click and I'll compound them. They, they, they are white, so I'll leave them white. Okay, the face. Pick the face. I'll hold shift, I'll take the ear. I think these are the only parts. I'll right click and I'll compound them. And I'll go in here, I'll get my dropper again. And I drop the face. I want the same color, so I do that. Oh, I think the nose needs to be with it too. I'll shift, hold shift, select the nose, and select the face. And then I compound them. This is just for my computer. This is something from sticky note. When I when I click, when I hold two random keys, like I click, I press them. Uh, um, by accident, this will come up. It's, it does not. It's not from Lucilla Web Studio. It's just from the computer itself. Okay, his hair has some things here. I'm going to delete them. Let me zoom in. Okay, all the, 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 the things here, they don't belong here. I'm going to delete them. This one also, let me see this one, come on. Let me go back in, yeah. So they should be brown. Mm -hmm. I'll go and get my dropper again, and then I'll, where did I get the dropper? Get the dropper and go to the hair and drop it like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. The buttons right here, the buttons, compound them together, go back to the yellow, um, the dropper, take this. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's go to the shoes. With the shoes. Um, I'll zoom in because here is a little bit broken. And um, let's fix it really quick. Okay. Look what I'm going to do. I, I, I just want a whole piece here. Here is broken right here. Let's 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 fix it. Okay, we're gonna fix here. I'll use my I think I use this one. I'll use this one. No, no, I'm not using that one. I will take a circle and I will draw a circle. And then I'll go to my nodes. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to fill. Oh, sorry. I'm going to another. I'm going to fill the circle. Fill the circle with, let's say, red. Okay. And I'll bring the circle over here. And I'm going to drag the circle. No, not like that. I'll go to the node, the node the editing points. I call it node editor. And I will drag this, you see, like that, like that, like cover most of the hole. 
let me get the color out. So I cover most of the whole. I, I, I connected this part and this part with the circle. So I will select the circle and select this white part too. Okay, let me go. The circle. Okay. And this white part. Okay. You see, uh, uh, um, when you select, um, when you when you select uh, something in here, like this, I select this. You see this part? That means I've only selected this part because you see the, these tiny boxes are over here. But if I selected this with the two, you see the, the tiny boxes disappear. disappear. So, so you should know that um, when you select, when you want to select only one thing, the, these boxes should show on it. So that means you have selected only this. But when you uh, uh, select multiple images, it will come like this. It will come out, come like this. That means I can't, I, I can't uh, continue because I don't want something, anything else to be selected right now. I want only this one. So always pay attention to that. So I select this one, I select this part also. And then I select the circle. And now we're going to weld it, right click and weld it. You see, we welded. Um, there's some part left, so we're going to straighten it out. I don't like this. I'm going to straighten it out by, let me straighten this part out first. I'll go to the node editor and I'll go in. No, this one, yeah. And I'm just going to select and delete. Or maybe I can simplify it, yeah. Let me see how simple it became. Okay, yes, I simplify it with the S here and then oh, it, it, it came out right. Let me see if it fits with the other part. It looks nice. Oh yeah, that's it. Let's go back in here. Okay, this circle needs to go. The way I'm, I'm going to take a circle out is just by release compound, come on. Okay, let's release the compound, release compound. And then I get the circle out. It will, it will push the circle out, you see that? And now we have this, let's zoom out. Okay, this is, I, I find this too small. Okay, don't leave it. I'll select this one and I'll hold shift and I'll select here, the boots and here. And then I'll compound them all, make them compound. And I'll go to my dropper and I'll look for the, the color here. Yeah, and I'll put the color. So we fixed it. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Ooh, um, Nadine, you're fighting COVID. Oh my goodness. Wow. <clears throat> Me and my family will uh, pray for you when we have prayer meeting. COVID, wow. Wow, wow. I wish, you, I, uh, um, I hope you feel better soon. You feel better soon, COVID. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will go back and here. Okay, let's continue. We have the white of the hands already. Okay, now let's go for the, for the eyes. Let's see what the eyes have. This part here should be greenish. I'll select those two parts. I'll compound them. I'll go get the dropper again because I don't have the specific color here. Yeah, and I get it in there. This part should be black. Okay, no, this part should be white and white and white right there. Right click, compound them. Oh, they are white already. Okay. Let's go to the M up here. Okay, the M, the inside M should be red. 
red. And the outside here should be black. Let me see what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, and the overall outline should be black. I'm gonna make it black right now. Black. Okay, and this part here should be black also. Should be black. No, you're not going anywhere. Black. Okay. It starts to look look like the real Mario. Okay, but um, you see in between here and here, he, these two parts are open, and but here they are not open. This is a part of the hair, I think. The hair compound them. Okay. This should um, be removed. This, this, this should be open. I will select this. I will select this and compound it with the, the background, the black on the background. I'll select it, the whole shift. This, this is a part of the black on the background. You see, when I selected the whole image, is selected. That means this black, the black that you see here is just the background in the back. This is hollow. This is, excuse me, this is hollow. Do you see that? So when I touch there, when I click on that, I can reach the background through here. Okay, and I'll, I'll just compound it. I'm just going to, it's a form of subtract subtraction. Like I'm going to subtract the white from the black. Okay, let me show you. Right now you don't see any hole here, you see? You don't see anything. So I'm going to subtract this white part on the black. Okay, and then a hole will come into the black. It's just like um, you have a, how do you call it? A cookie cutter. I always give this explanation. A cookie cutter and you have a dough. So this, is that a mold? A mold, I think, cookie cutter. I think it's a cookie cutter. You know, for Christmas, you make cookies, you, 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 you buy, they, come, they are, um, most of the time they are um, alum aluminum, like in the form of a bear, a gingerbread man. And then you have your gingerbread dough and then you press it into it and it gives the form of the gingerbread man. There's the same thing here. The black is the gingerbread dough. And the white here is the the aluminum part that you're going to cut, that you're going to use to get the form out. So I'm going to hold shift and select this tool. I'll right click and compound it. You see, it's gone. Let's test this again. You see, it's, it's cut. And we're going to do it with the same part here. We can do it here and then compound. Okay, the, the black come, came to the front. Let's send it back to the, send it to the back. Okay, let me see. I don't hope we missed anything. Oh yeah, a, a, a small part of the overall right here. Select the, make it compound. And here the, the holes on the hand. Let me see them. If I were about to cut this, I would, I would, I would delete these holes. Okay, let me see what this is. No, go back. Mm. Okay, I'm going to copy this hole. I'm going to copy this hole, duplicate it, and bring a one here. Let me see what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to zoom in. We, we need these same holes, okay? I'm going to zoom in really close and see what we're going to do. This here is white. I'm going to compound it with the hand. Make compound and the black comes. This here white, hold shift. 
select compound. Okay, and then we're going to compound the white with the big hand. These holes with the big hand. Okay. Compound. Okay, that's it on this side. And then we go to the other side. These are good. Just compound them with the white. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I will select all. No, we didn't start right. And group it. And then get the red line out. Okay, I think we are done. Oh, let me see the hair right here. The hair should be compound with the hair here. And then we are done. And then you can group everything together. Group and and here we have we have it. Mm, you see the same. <laughs> I need to compound this with the. I need to compound. You see the same the same uh, uh, image without the same image without um without the background and the color is very nice like in, it, the color it, this is a fact, vector so the color is stable is like one piece from here to here is one piece it's not pixelated here you don't see it but it's pixelated but in here it's not pixelated so so this is how you do this in Silhouette Studio. Um, if you want to learn the software, um, you want to learn the essential tools of the software, uh, sign up for my class. It's a recorded class. You can uh, study it. You can learn uh, on your own pace. You can watch and practice. And uh, <clears throat> you can watch and practice so that you can know how to uh, navigate the software because this is a gold mine i can tell you you can you can do a lot in here that you that you could do in in photo in photoshop you can do a lot in here think about it for photoshop you have to pay monthly or yearly annually you can pay uh, monthly or annually but in here when when you order the software once you have it for for your whole life and you can also install it on several computers in your home. So um, a way to create like a digital products, um, files that you can sell over and over again. It's a smart idea to learn the software and, and uh, create, create passive income and also learn the software so that you can use it in your business. So if you're interested in learning, um, sign up for my class. It's a, like I said, it's a recorded class and you can learn it on your own pace. You can learn it um, yeah, on your own pace. And if you have uh, questions, you can let me know on the platform where I have the class um, listed. There's an opportunity there to ask questions, to communicate with me and to talk with me and also my email address is also there when you, if you want to email me this uh, <clears throat> so uh, it's a, a nice environment where you can learn so let me know if you are interested mm, um Nadine, i hope you feel better i hope you feel feel better because i've heard so much about it about covid and um and the symptoms and how people feel. I hope you feel better so that you can uh, go back to your crafting. And if this class has been helpful to you, please share. Share with your friends, with your crafting friends and um, share the page with your friends. And um, if you haven't liked the page yet, like and follow and ask questions. Uh, I will be here every day going live.
talking about um, my classes, the software, my sublimation products. Also, if you, uh, if you need paper, we have sublimation paper. We have quiz design sublimation paper, amazing paper. And we also have ink, quiz sublimation ink. The combination of this ink and this paper is amazing. You, you guys see it oh, when I uh, print stuff and I print cups or shirts, how amazing the color is. So um, we have all you need all over here. Thank you so much for watching and also for everyone who will watch the replay. Um, may you have any questions? Let me know in the comment section and I will be right back with you. Thank you all so, so much. Thank you, Nadine, and have a great day. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.